All right, we are live. So welcome everybody. My name is Nora Bloom. I'm here with Travel Leaders and I get to introduce the wonderful Matt Spillner today who has um, great information for us today on Avalon Waterways. And I think we're gonna focus on the Rhine River today. Is that right? You know what? We can't be there in real life, Nora, but we are virtually, we're gonna cruise our way down this beautiful, beautiful river. You are absolutely right. So we're gonna, we're gonna take a journey while we may not be there virtually, it's gonna be awesome. I'm super excited to share it with you all. I cannot wait. So I'm gonna let you take it away. I am going to stay on live um, and I'll be watching the chat. So if anyone Perfect. has questions, go ahead and ask them in the chat. Um, and if there's um, anything that comes up, um, I'll be here to, to facilitate for you. But I'm awesome. going to turn it over to Matt. Thank you so much. Sounds good. And I've got a, a beautiful presentation here. So you want to focus on that, not my face. So I am going to share my screen here. And we'll go ahead. If this thing will work for me, here we go. Trouble only for a little bit. Are we good, Nora? I think we are. You are great. Looks fantastic. Look at that. I'm just dreaming about that. Those beautiful castles, our ships back on the river again. So thanks everybody for joining me. And, and thank you, Nora, and everybody at Travel Leaders Market Square for all you do. You guys are incredible to work with. And I'm so honored to be here with all of you and share this beautiful journey that we have for those of you wanting to experience river cruising, not only on the Rhine, but with Avalon Waterways. So excited to share this journey with you. So what we're gonna do throughout the presentation, first, I'm gonna talk about the Rhine River and all the possibilities available to you with Avalon. And then talk about a little bit of Avalon and why you would choose uh, Avalon waterways to experience the Rhine River with. And then talk a little bit about the ship as well. So you can kind of get a feel for the layout of our ships and things like that if you were to experience it uh, live and in person. So without further ado, we are going to go ahead, get started on our journey down the Rhine River here. So sweet, safe and sound cruising along this beautiful, timeless river has certainly become one of the most desirable ways to travel today. Everybody knows river cruising has become incredibly popular and that's why you are here tuned in listening to the presentation today. Yet with so many beautiful options out there with river cruising, one of the most difficult things can be choosing where to make your splash and which river is right for you and where to cruise at. So questions you may be asking yourself are, are you going to choose by country or are you going to choose by site or do you want to choose by unique experience? There's so many opportunities out there that it's hard to narrow it down. Well, when you choose the beautiful romantic Rhine River and it's 800 beautiful miles of winding whimsical wonder, you get to choose all of the above with the beautiful Rhine. So let's take a look at the Rhine here. It is a perfect fit for cabin fever, right? If you're dreaming of an, of an escape, Nora and I were just talking about that. We wish we were in our panorama suite cruising this beautiful river right now, but until we can get back out there, we're just gonna, we're gonna talk about it. But I know we're all ready to get out there and experience the wonder and the, the beauty of the world that it has to offer. So Rhine River Vacation offers you the perfect cure for cabin fever. We're all ready to get out of our homes and fuel those uh, travel cravings. So from its storied scenery, the beautiful terraced vineyards, and the hillsides dotted with these beautiful castles, the Rhine showcases so much of what river cruising has become famous for. Now, when we talk about the Rhine River, we're gonna say, why the Rhine River? And let's talk a few minutes and spend that time highlighting the Rhine River and the real reasons that you would wanna sail along this amazing river. So we're going to start with the high five of the Rhine. So cruising down this multi multinational waterway, the Rhine with Avalon, you get to experience five different countries, which are Switzerland, the Netherlands, Germany, France, and Austria, 
all while exploring some of the world famous picturesque towns along this route of the river, like Basel. You've got Strasbourg, Cologne in Germany, Bonn and Dusseldorf. You've got Amsterdam and Rotterdam all along the way on your journey with the Rhine River. Now connecting four, you'll see here as well, the Rhine is a ribbon that ties together these fascinating countries, cultures, and history. And it also flows into these other legendary waterways as well, which provides you, the traveler, a nice opportunity to combine a Rhine itinerary with these three other rivers as well. So you've got the Moselle, the mine and also the Danube for a mo more robust river cruise. So you don't just have to experience one river, you can experience these other ones as well. Now the Rhine is famous for its castles. And if you do not know, be between Rudesheim and Koblenz, more castles take center stage than anywhere else on the planet. Just think of that, what a cool opportunity right there between Rudesheim and Koblenz. And this Fairy tale fantasy known as the Upper Middle Rhine or the Rhine Gorge, you may have heard it referred to, has also earned a UNESCO World Heritage Site status. And this is what we call the famous Romantic Rhine right between this area here. Of course, the countries that you get to experience with the Netherlands, surrounded by the beautiful, beautiful, brilliant colored tulips, the waterways of the Netherlands feed into the Rhine River and here pre presents an unrivaled springtime scenery to you, including the beginning, middle and end of the rainbow colors. Truly remarkable, of course, the famous Kuchenhof Gardens up in the Netherlands. And this is where you can start your journey on the Rhine River with a tulip time cruise. There's also more to pour over. So when we think of Germany, we typically think of Germany for its beer scene, right? Well, the vineyard lined Rhine paints a sweeter story with some of the region's most famous wine making. So you can sniff, swirl, and sip your way through everything from trying different Rieslings to delicate Sylvaners to even some full bodied German wines all a possibility when you travel the romantic Rhine with Avalon waterways. For those wanting history as well, you will not go without that here on the Rhine River. And the river does present a huge number of UNESCO World Heritage Sites that can be found right along its valley. So including the Rhine Gorge, the beautiful Cologne Cathedral, which is incredibly famous, the Spire Cathedral, the town of Bamberg, and also the old town of Regensburg, all possibilities for you to take in and see when you cruise the Rhine River. Next up, I absolutely love this one, Merry Memories. No better way to unwrap the magic of the old world than with a journey through these tradition-rich German Christmas markets with their mulled wines, the handmade sweets, and the aromas of the the almonds roasting with the sugar and the glue vine as you walk through and experience all these delicate foods, the flavors, all while doing some shopping and hopefully surrounded by those closest to you with your friends and family. This is so high up on my bucket list. If you have not checked out the Christmas markets of Germany, you have to. It is absolutely incredible and so enchanting and what better way to spend the holiday season than truly immersed in it and nobody does it like these European Christmas markets. So that's just a few of the highlights of why you would want to sail the Rhine River. But you may be asking yourself, well, there's a lot of companies out there. Why would I choose Avalon? Well, I'm here to go over those points with you. So not only the, the Rhine has so much to offer, but there is, like I said, a lot of options out there to choose from which uh, river cruise line to sail with. So we have so many points here, but just some that I wanted to highlight. I'm not going to touch on all of these points, but we have some incredible itineraries. And it's not just, again, the Romantic Rhine. That's our best selling cruise. So if you want to experience only the Rhine, that's a great option. But like we talked about, you can go on to the different rivers and experience those. You can spend, in addition to booking your cruise, we can do 
you know, two nights in Lucerne for you uh, or wherever you want to go. We can do that for you. There is no shortage of itinerary. So when you are looking at this with your advisor here with Market Square, there's endless pops possibilities for you on the Rhine to experience. So if you just want to do the cruise, you can do that. If you want to stay longer in other cities, you can do that. If you want to do a pre or post night, you can even do that. And you can really make your vacation and your cruise on the Romantic Rhine. It can, it can totally fit your needs. You can customize that to your liking. Of course, with our Avalon Adventure host, you have somebody to guide you along on your journey in addition to your, your cruise director. So when you get off on these ports and if you want to uh, take a bike ride or a hike or a jog, your Avalon Adventure host is going to be there with you. And let me tell you, we include all of our excursions and there's three different types we offer for all different travelers. And these are all included with the price of your cruise with Avalon Waterways. So if you just wanna take in the famous sights and sounds of these cities, we have that offer for you with our classic sightseeing. That is what we've always offered. But over the last few years, we've introduced also active excursions. So if you are a traveler who wants to stay active and more to do on your vacation, this is a great way. Some of the examples we include in port. You can do a guided biking tour. You may do a guided hike up to a castle to look over the sprawling vineyards onto the beautiful Rhine. You may do just a walking tour or it may be a jogging tour, possibly kayaking. So whatever fits your needs, you have the ability to do that. And then don't forget our offer of discovery. So maybe you want to do a painting demonstration. We have that opportunity. We have regional cooking classes so you can learn how to, to cook a crepe or something like that specific to the region you're in. We have some pottery classes even. Whatever you want, you can pick and choose. They're included and you can switch up every day. So if one day you wanted to do some classic sightseeing, you can do that and see the cathedral in Cologne. The next day, if you wanted to take a bike ride while you were in Amsterdam, you can do that. And I can't miss Avalon's exclusive panorama suite. I'm gonna show it to you coming up here, but it's exclusive to us. Nobody else in the industry has it. And what it is, it's floor to floor, to floor wall to wall ceilings. So that's 11 feet wide by seven feet tall and your room becomes your balcony. So you'll see right here in this picture, look at this. You can lay in bed in your stateroom in the comfort right here and your bed faces this view. You can take in these soaring views right from the comfort of your own stateroom. And this opens a full seven feet wide. They're, they're paned here and you can slide this open and your room becomes your balcony. I can just picture and feel and taking in these scents that I feel the sweet, the, the sense of the country around me, but also feel the breeze from the comfort of my stateroom. Exclusive to Avalon is our panorama suite. And this could be you cruising the beautiful romantic Rhine from your panorama uh, suite. Now this room here, it's 200 square feet which I will talk about uh, moving forward and how that compares uh, to some of the, the other river cruise companies as we move forward here. But truly a, a not miss opportunity and what better way to experience this. So from the comforts of your stateroom, you can take in all the views have to offer you over in this region. Now looking at the ship, if I knew that video would work better, I would have put it in here because we have a wonderful virtual tour, but sometimes on these streams, the video doesn't always work. And I just thought it would be better to have something that I knew would work rather than uh, try to show a video and then it not work for you. But if you're interested, your advisor can send you a link to a 3D tour all through the ship so you can really get a good feel. But I just wanted to give you a glimpse into what the ship looks like. So you can see here on the side, this is our, our newest ship sailing the Avalon in vision. And you can see the panorama suites right there and how that works. So you can see, you can slide your balcony door open and your room is your balcony. You're not crammed into a little area out there by any means. 
open it to the world of possibilities. We call it bed with a view. And you can see the, the sky deck up there and the opportunities there, the dining room, but just wanted to get you a, a, a feel for what our ships kind of look like here. This is a view of our bathrooms. This is another uh, great opportunity with Avalon. I know normally we wouldn't talk about your bathroom, right? You're thinking a bathroom, uh, but this is a beautiful, it's tiled bathroom. It's a full size bathroom with marbled countertops, a full size shower, his and her towels stocked with L'Occitane bath amenities. So we really do, this is not your average cruise ship bathroom, all in your own personal stateroom. I, I love this. Now, just some other looks around the ship as well. We always try to make sure that you do have a view to the outside. So whether you're sitting on the back deck here or you're on an inside lounge, we always try to make sure that you can see the outside. So plenty of spaces for you to relax on the ship and take in the views as you cruise along the, the beautiful river. We have multiple venues for dining of course, on the ship. The first one in the top left, you can see that's a little continental breakfast that you can have brought to your stateroom. So croissants and coffee and orange juice, things like that. The upper right-hand corner, you can have lunch on this, the sky deck with the sky grill, or perhaps you want a little more intimate experience. You can certainly go into the dining rooms. Those are available for you as well. And the bottom right, I love this opportunity. You can actually request a pre-packed picnic and you and whoever you are traveling with can go off and have your own picnic. How awesome is that? What an opportunity to go into the hills of Germany, say, and take, have your own personalized picnic. What a cool opportunity there. So we have multiple venues and we have some flex dining options as well. So for breakfast or dinner, you can enter for breakfast 7 to 8.30 a.m. Whatever time you would choose, you can eat in the dining room or same for dinner 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Whatever time fits your schedule, you can make your way to the dining room at that time so you don't have a reservation time for dinner as well. Now, better not bigger. Just some other little tidbits here about Avalon as well. The maximum number of passengers we have on our ships is gonna be 166. When you've got that lower passenger count, naturally that leads to higher crew attention. You'll see for those of you who have maybe taken an Avalon cruise before or those who haven't, your crew in most cases will become familiar with you on a, a personal name basis before your crew is over. And you can't say that for every other company out there, but we are proud of our low passenger counts. Of course, lower passengers on board leads to that higher guest satisfaction, which is what we want for you to fully enjoy your cruise. Now I talked about the Avalon Panorama Suite. It is 30% larger than the average uh, River Cruise Line cabin. And of course, 100% wide open views at your fingertips, just slide your door open and you bring the outside in. Your crows, your way. So we are not only Avalon Waterways, we're, we're uh, owned by a tour operator, which are the only river cruise line operator that is owned by a tour operator. And what does this mean? So we also have Globus, which is a escorted tour product, and then Monograms, which you have the services of a local host, independent travel. With an Avalon cruise, you can pre or post add on a Globus tour to some of these cruises, a full tour, or you can just add you know, pre or post nights if you wanted, or you could add on a Monograms city stay as well, pre or post. Now there is some cruises even that include these as part of the itineraries. You'll see some of them uh, that say, two nights in Lucerne. That is a built-in monograms package. So you can work with your advisor if you're wanting more than just the cruise. They can absolutely assist you with that and enhance your vacation and make it even better than you ever could have imagined in your wildest dreams. Now, this is a super fun part. Look at these castles. So between Rudesheim and Koblenz, we mentioned this, along that beautiful Rhine Gorge, more castles reach to the sky than anywhere else on the planet. I love that fact. And did you know that a towering castle appears an average of every two and a half kilometers? So everywhere, every twist, every turn of the river, everywhere you look, you are seeing these beautiful castles. And of course, along the way, you are invited to step across centuries old drawbridges and into these beautiful settings to experience the majestic and magical days of yore, past days gone by. With Avalon, it's just not about the views, it's the to-dos. 
So here are a few of the castles that you can experience up close when you do set sail with Avalon Waterways. We're gonna take a look at these. They are truly breathtaking. This picture is just stunning. I love all of these castles, but on this one, this is Marksburg's castle. And in here, it's over 900 years old. We do a private tour of its interior and some of the highlights inside, you can go to the chapel, the wine cellar and battlements. Really cool opportunity to see Marksburg Castle here. Next up on the list is Rheinstein Castle. And you do have to hike up here, but you do, you're rewarded by uh, visiting this nearly 300, uh, sorry, excuse me, above the, the the banks of the river here, it's 300 feet above there. So you can hike up here. So there's a, a reward at the end of that hike to take in these beautiful sweeping views from its beautiful uh, turrets here. And you can do a self-guided tour of the chapel and the royal crypt, and also a sip of sparkling wine with your fellow travelers in the courtyard. A cool opportunity there. Wow. Next up. Muterslote Castle. This is the oldest and best preserved castle in the Netherlands, if you did not know that, a cool little fun fact there. Since 1878, it's also been home to a national museum. So here you can discover what life was like from the Middle Ages to the 17th century as you walk in the footsteps of a legend who called this beautiful castle home. This to me is like a fairy tale castle here, right? You get the little moat uh, walking over the water, things like that truly picturesque and what an opportunity to visit with Avalon Waterways. And then also don't forget Heidelberg Castle. It's easy to raise a, a glass to this castle, of course, which is considered the most important Renaissance structure north of the Alps. So in addition to its fascinating ruins and reconstructed uh, facades, check this fact out. Its barrel building houses the world famous Great Barrel, which was installed in 1591, and it holds a whopping 130,000 tasty liters of wine. Woo! That is quite a bit of wine stored right there in Heidelberg Castle. Now, if you're thinking, what can I do? What are the shore excursions available to me that you talked about were included with my cruise? Well, let's just talk about some of them here because there is plenty. You will not be bored on this cruise by any means. So you see there, show your true colors. With this one, you can color your own canvas and discover or try to discover or imitate your best uh, inner Van Gogh in a painting class in Amsterdam. We talked a little bit about swirl swooping and swooning. So with this one, you can travel along the beautiful Alsace wine route on an enchanting excursion into the countryside for an underground wine cellar tasting of those traditional local and regional wines. What a cool opportunity there. You also can join a guided tour of Dusseldorf's famous alt beers and learn about the historic top fermented brews, including what gives them their dark copper color and their crisp fruity taste, a nice opportunity there. And that's what's so cool. We do include on board your uh, local regional wines and, and beers as well. So you really do get to feel as a, a part of this region. Now you can also walk through Graffiti Street in Ghent. And this is where artists create different varieties of spray can arts. And you can also grab a can and give it your best go at it. Of course, we talked about Kuchenhof in Amsterdam. I cannot wait to visit this area, but the millions of colorful daffodils and hyacinth as you spend in a day taking in this garden, it's truly remarkable. You can, you can experience this as part of a tulip time cruise uh, with Avalon. Or for those of you, again, more active, you can also join a biking tour through the Dutch countryside past the windmills, the picturesque and they're famous for their windmills, of course, uh, in the Dutch land and take in those beautiful, beautiful old villages. Or perhaps you're a foodie. You wanna fill your stomach to your heart's content. You can do a foodie workshop featuring historic European foods, 
recipes and ingredients, a really cool uh, opportunity there. And then you can also visit Colmar and take in all the fusion of German and French. And if you didn't know, Colmar in Germany is known as the little Venice, I'm sorry, of uh, France. And a little fun fact about uh, this town, Colmar, it is the capital or the uh, wine region capital here in Alsace. Really cool opportunities there. Now, of course, we had to talk about keeping you uh, safe and sound. So we call it sweet, safe, and sound cruising. And we know that today's world has changed. But of course, at the forefront of everything we do is our commitment to your safety, your comfort, and also your peace of mind. We have established a set of uh, onboard protocols and procedures through a new Avalon Assurance Program to, again, ensure your health and also, of course, your happiness of our guests to make sure that you have a wonderful time on board uh, with us. Now, if you want complete details, please reach out to your travel advisor. That's not the really fun stuff uh, part of our journey. But if you want any more detailed information, certainly reach out to your travel advisor. Now, I know I've certainly had fun on our journey down the Rhine River, and we're coming to a close here. But if you are somebody who this spoke to, which I certainly hope it has you energized and you found it fun and exciting and can't wait to visit this river, we do have a nice promotion as well currently going on with $299 air and savings of up to $2,000 per couple. So if you are interested in booking yourself uh, on the beautiful Rhine River, reach out to your travel leaders, Market Square Advisor. They have access to this promotion. They are the experts on all, thing, all things Avalon, and they would be more than happy to get you booked on your own beautiful journey down the beautiful Rhine River. So that's going to do it for me. I'll come back on camera here and see if anybody has any questions. I don't see that the chat was terribly busy or anything like that. But Nora, if anybody has any questions, I would be more than happy to answer them. Sure. Well, thank you, Matt. That was really great. It got me excited about river cruising again. Um, there is a question about when do you think Avalon is going to start sailing? That is a great question. Let me get out my crystal ball here and see. Um, <laughs> that's probably the, the question we get asked uh, most. And truly the answer is uh, we don't know. So right now we do have our operations suspended through May. So we are planning to operate June and beyond, but that of course is up to the governments and things like that uh, to open the borders over in Europe for us to experience the cruise like it should be. So as soon as we get the go ahead, we are absolutely ready to go. And we've got all these uh, protocols, procedures to keep everybody on sa uh, safe on board. We're ready to go. It's simply a matter of getting the approval and the borders to open because we don't want to take you uh, on a cruise where you can't get off or do anything fun, right? So we're ready. When we get the green light, we are ready to sail the beautiful Rhine again. Sounds good. Yes. Again, if anyone has any questions, feel free to put it in the chat. Um, I'd be more than happy to help facilitate that with you. Mm -hmm. um, so just give everybody a little bit of a reminder of what is included. You talked about all those different excursions that are included each day. Yep. What is included as far as meal and drinks go? Yeah, great question, Nora, and, and thanks for the reminder. If, if you're not familiar, um, it is great to know. So like you mentioned, Nora, your excursions, those are included, but this, I, this is what I love about river cruising, right? It's you put your suitcase on the ship for the duration of your trip, and you don't have to unpack, you don't have to move it, anything like that. You're in the comforts of your own room, and it really is all-inclusive. So all your meals are included. At breakfast, we do include sparkling wine. And then with lunch and dinner, in addition to your meal, uh, you do get uh, beer, and wine included as well. So you can sample some of these regional wines and really get a feel and flavor for the destination itself. So it's taken care of for you. You know, everything, this is as, as close to all-inclusive as you're going to get. You hop on the ship, your meals are taken care of. You don't need to worry about cooking for the week. You don't need to worry about unpacking. And the hardest part is choosing which, which excursions you want to do each day, all included. So, so much included as part of your cruise. Great question, Nora. 
Great. So there is a question here about, are you going to um, make sure all of your passengers are fully vaccinated? That is also a great question. So reach out to your travel advisor for more information on our requirements, but we have recently revealed the requirements to travel with any of our brands. The first being you have been fully vaccinated at least 14 days prior to travel with both doses if you got Pfizer and Moderna or the one shot, of course, for Johnson & Johnson. So if you've been vaccinated more than 14 days in advance, boom, you are good to go. If you had not gotten your vaccine yet or chose not to get the vaccine, uh, with that being said, you can also present a negative test result for COVID-19 within 72 hours of your first purchase service with the Globus family of brands. So seven, within 72 hours of arrival, you can present a negative test. Or if you are somebody who unfortunately has had the virus within the last 90 days, you can also provide documentation that you have had it within the last 90 days and that you have fully recovered from it. That would be an accepted form as well. So uh, there's options out there, but really excited and grateful for all the developments with the vaccine. And uh, I hope that you're able to get it soon because this will eliminate you know, any need to uh, test prior to vacation to eliminate any worries like that. So a vaccine, if if you've gotten that, you are good to go. Another great question. That was a, a great question. And then to add to that, depending on what river you're on and which countries you're visiting, there could be additional requirements. You know, this is kind of, um, I guess, the least common denominator, right? Exactly. It yes. So this is the least restrictive. Exactly. So this is applicable to the Globus family of brands. But yeah, you know, the, a, a specific country may come out and say, in order to travel to this country, you have to be vaccinated. Or an airline may come out with a more strict policy. And of course, you'd have to follow along with those. This is just applicable to the Globus family of brands. So yeah, yep, adherence to any stricter guidelines, of course, would be required with your air carrier or any local government governments too. Yep. Sure. Those darn governments. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a question here about, um, you know, we may be able to cruise in Europe before we're able to go on an escorted tour. Mm -hmm. um, you, tell us about that a little bit. Yeah, so that's again, you know, whatever opportunity presents itself, whether it be touring uh, or cruising, we are ready for both or either option. So it's, it's really getting the borders open. So as soon as we've got the green light, we have everything in place that uh, we need to and we are ready to go. It's just simply a matter of when do we get that green light, which unfortunately is the big question mark right now. So whenever we can, we are ready to take you to Europe. Does Avalon um, sell to European customers, or is it pretty much North American customers? Uh, with the pandemic, we've put in some place with some domestic cruises, which we haven't offered before. So just being tr trying to be creative. But the, the European market is mostly um, US travelers and those from around the world. It's not a big domestic market. OK, yeah. sounds good. Any other questions from our, our attendees? You know, you can always reach out to your travel advisor. They'd be happy to talk to you more about Avalon and the options that go with it. Absolutely. It, it and looks, they're the experts. It looks like uh, there are no more questions. So I want to thank you again, Matt. Wonderful job. Love the images. Very excited to get on a river again. And I know you are too. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm just so inspired looking at those pictures and to know that, you know, River cruising is out there. It's just, it's not, it's just a matter of when. And I know you and I, Nora, both cannot wait to take in these beautiful views laying in our panorama suite, that enjoying some wine, right? While we're doing it. Exactly. It Avalon can't correct. wait to welcome you aboard. Well, thanks everybody for joining us today and uh, have a great afternoon. Take care, everybody.